You deserve a man who desires to give you the commitment that you truly deserve. And believe it or not, there are tons of men, yes, tons, that are willing and prepared to get into serious relationships. And there's a man out there for you that is willing to pour into you and fulfill your needs and desires. But I understand that for you and, and for many that will watch this video that you're at a place that maybe you're jaded, that you question the seriousness of men out there, their willingness to commit in a relationship. And I think that social media and the stories that you're hearing from family and friends have, I have to use the word, contaminated your mind into thinking this is not out there. This does not exist. That maybe you're, ex you're hoping for something that will not come about. But I want you to remove those negative thoughts and understand that there are so many men. Literally today, as I was walking back from the gym, I got approached from a man. Let me just tell you, it's very funny that I, as much as my following is majority women, I get approached by way more men complimenting me and telling me how much they watch my videos and enjoy it. So another thing for you to realize, a lot of you think men aren't watching and listening and learning. They are. They're just quiet about it online. But in real life, they are acknowledging me and telling me how much they're learning and how much it's helping them in relationships or in dating. But anyways, the guy today was asking, how can he meet more serious women? And I had to laugh because we always hear about it's the men who don't want to be serious. But in reality, there's a lot of men dealing with the same issue. All right. And they want something more. But I digress because I want to get to the point of this video, and that's about signs that he wants to commit to you. All right. So let's get to it. The first one is he will not run from a title. So I, I had to discuss this because I see too many situations where women are dating men desiring something serious. So let me make clear, if you are a woman who does not mind being casual, that's a whole different story. And, and please let me just say, be honest with yourself about that desire for being casual or willingness to be casual. Are you doing it because you don't, you don't have hope for better? Are you doing it because you don't think you can get better? Or are you doing it because that's what you truly desire and what makes you happy? Because if it doesn't, you need to address that and be true to yourself about what you're really looking for because you will shoot yourself in the foot if you allow yourself to believe you're okay with being casual when that's not really your thing. But the, the, the thing is that I see, these, I see so many women dating these men who are vague with their intentions, vague with putting a title on the situation, so to speak, and women convincing themselves that he just needs more time, uh, you know, maybe he'll come around to it. No. All right. And, and, and I don't want to say no, as in no man could just need some more time. Yeah. Depending on how, how long you guys have been talking. However, in most cases, if a man is someone who is serious and desires to commit to you, and at least he's potential in committing to you, he is okay with giving clarity about what his intentions are. He is okay with giving some kind of structure and again, title, whether that's we're exclusively dating, which let me just say, I'm not really a fan of exclusive dating in the sense of if we're mimicking a romantic committed relationship, why can't we just be an official romantic committed relationship? But if we're exclusively dating in the sense of, okay, we're getting to know just each other and we're not engaging in boyfriend, girlfriend behavior, but we are engaging in building something together exclusively, that's a lot more acceptable. Anyways, he has no problem saying yes to that. He has no problem saying he wants that. And here's the thing, even a man who may not be ready to say it's official, official, he's going to show a desire to limit outside influences, so to speak. All right. Like I I've tons of stories of men. They meet women. They really like her. They're serious about her. And let's say they met off a dating site. He has no problem now saying, let's get off the dating site together. Let's, let's focus on us because again, he's serious here and he wants commitment. So he has a willingness to, to go there. And when you bring up conversations about commitment, you know, 
Is that the goal here? When can we look forward to something like that? He's not going to run from that conversation. A lot of women become so afraid to ask questions of about like, where, what are we doing here? Uh, what's your intentions? Where are we going with this? In fear of running the man away. You will not run a man away who is seeing you as genuine potential. It's plain and simple. The only reason a man would run if he was serious about you and want something, a, re a real relationship with you, is if the way you came off turned him off. So if you came at him in a very attacking manner, with an attitude, condescending, just plain old negative, then that, yes, that can cause a man to be like, you know what, I, this is not what I'm signing up for. But if you discuss it in a calm, loving manner, just trying to gain clarity, he's not going to take an issue with that because I say it all the time. The man who is serious about you wants to bring you clarity and peace, not confusion and chaos. So he will take that opportunity to ease your concerns and let you know what's going on here and what he desires. But let me add this one more piece before we move on to the next point. When it comes to specifically about being in an official relationship, again, I said he won't run from titles. I have seen scenarios where women will ask a man, what are we, right? And rather than him giving the woman a title, it's, well, don't you see I'm always with you? Don't, don't you see, you know, we do this and that. Don't you see I paid for this? So he talks about it in a way that alludes to, of course, we're in an official relationship. But he still won't say it. That's a no. There's no reason why, if he is real, genuine about being with you, that he could not say it. Again, the man who wants to commit to you will not run from a title. He would not run from saying, you are my woman, my girlfriend, this is official, all those things. So him being vague and just pointing out what you should be examples of seriousness is not enough. He should be able to show it and to say it. All right, so now the second great sign he wants to be committed to you is that there will be consistent communication. Now, I feel the need to mention that. I think a lot of things I'm gonna mention, uh, some of you may say this should be obvious, this should be common sense. Well, remember, common sense ain't always so common. And the reality is that when we are emotionally invested and we desire something very strongly, it becomes a very easy for us to start making excuses for people. It, make, it becomes very easy for us to overlook red flags. So a lot of what's being said, a lot of what I say in all my videos, aren't things you may have, you don't know or never heard. It's things that you may need to be reminded of. It's bringing it back into focus for you so that you realize, wait a minute, I have been overlooking this glaring issue and I need to address it and, and, and determine if I can move forward with this individual, all right? So going to the point of consistent communication, now, I will say this. I'm a little biased when I, when I, with me saying that I, I understand sometimes people are busy. <laughs> and, I, and I'm saying this because I know I'm a busy guy, but you know, we always say people make time for what they really want, all right? And I, though I do believe that some individuals have less time to give, they will still carve out time for someone they're serious about, all right? And so I, I've yet to see a man who wants to, again, the key is he wants to commit to you. Not he wants to just hang with you. Not he wants to have sex with you. He wants to commit to you. When that level of desire is there, he is willing to, to make consistent communication. Not just willing, he will initiate communication as well. He, he wants to see you, he wants to talk to you, he wants to draw closer to you. So he will find ways to create those opportunities. But I also feel the need to mention that you've got to remember that it's not only on him, all right? Far too many times I see women with the mentality of, if he's serious, he should be calling me. He should be initiating with me. They'll say, oh, or, you know, something will happen and they'll come to me. I haven't heard from this man in three days. I'm done. And I'll ask them, but did you reach out to him in those three days? And the answer is no. And some of you may say, well, nah, why should I have to reach out? Because this is a two-way street. 
We're trying to build something together. And, and there's, there's some situations where the man can be really into you, want to commit to you. However, if he's feeling like you're not giving the energy that he's giving, that you're not interested in him as he is in you, then that can cause some men to pu pull back. Also, I have to mention this, and this is something that I plan on addressing more and more on my men's channel, is that unfortunately, a lot of men are being taught some game playing the same way some women are. So the same way women are being told, you know, uh, make him miss you and, you know, ignore him for a couple of days and, and blah, blah, blah. Men are being told that too. And so what's happening is you have individuals who, even in being genuinely serious about someone, engage in these little tactics and games, hoping to gain back that person's attention. All right. So the man pulls away, not because he doesn't want to pursue you, but because he feels like he, he, he's coming across as thirsty and, and you're not, again, reciprocating. Now, this isn't to make excuses for the man doing that. That isn't in any way to say it's acceptable. Because as I said, I'm going to talk more about two men. And as I do to you, that this is not the way for us to do things. All right. But I'm mentioning it for you to understand this is why you have to make sure you're doing your part. Now, when you can say you've been doing your part and this man pulls nonsense like that, that's different, all right? But if you have not done your part yet, you can't, you can't, just, you can't just put it all on him. This is also hitting my spirit because this was actually a discussion I had on my, uh, co in my coaching program on one of my live Q&As where one of the women had asked, I'm gonna try to make this a long story short, her, she's been living with her guy, he left the house, she's upset, she, you know, she feels like you should never just leave, that's unacceptable, and his reason that he gave her for leaving was he's tired of the fighting, all right? And they need to work on things, but they can't work on things under the same roof. And, I, and she was trying to figure out how to handle this, and, and people were telling her, you know, you ignore him, give him the cold shoulder, and I'm like, no, we don't do that if we're trying to resolve things. But I had to... I had to bring to her attention, you can't just be mad at him for reacting that way if you can't acknowledge that you were engaging in negativity with him. If you were handling those conversations in a way that was creating arguments, then you have to acknowledge your side too, all right? We have to remember that if we want a successful relationship, it takes two people. Do your part and hold, hold yourself accountable, hold them accountable, all right? And when you know you can say, I've been doing what I'm supposed to do, taking the right approach, and they're not matching you, now we know they need to go. But bottom line is, communication will be consistent when that man wants to commit to you. All right, so let's move things along. And the third sign, the third great sign that a man wants to commit to you is that he will take a deeper interest in learning more about you, all right? So... Uh, a lot of you have experienced men that you're dating that, and I want to highlight this kind of scenario where things may seem great. You guys may get along wonderfully, okay? Lots of laughs and, and all that kind of stuff. But when you take a step back and you really look at the situation, you start to realize your conversations are very on the surface. Nothing goes deeper. He doesn't really share things about him. He's not really looking to learn things about you. And that right there has to be a sign to you that, of course, address it. Because as I always tell you, we address red flags first. And if they can't be corrected, then you let them go. We don't jump to conclusions. We just don't cut people off because there may be a valid explanation for this issue. All right. But it is indeed an issue. Because the man who wants to be with you wants to learn about you, will ask questions. And, and you notice I'm going to always tell you what, where you have to step up in certain areas. You have to show him that you're willing to have those conversations and be vulnerable. I say that because I've seen a lot of scenarios where men are trying, trying hard, matter of fact, to really get to know this woman, and, I, and I'm even thinking of some married couples. You would think, well, if they're married, they know each other already. No. Some people got married and they still need a lot of work in getting in tune with each other and understanding each other. But the point is, the man is trying very hard, and it's the woman who does not want to open up. And sometimes, yes, it could be due to 
fears in the past of people using that information against you. It could be just this fear of vulnerability in general. Um, there could be various reasons, but the bottom line is if you don't engage when he's making that effort, he will stop making that effort. And unfortunately, he may stop making that effort, but he won't stop dealing with you. And now the relationship becomes more empty, all right? And he may put you in the box of, all right, you know what? I can't connect with this woman on a deeper level, but I may enjoy hanging with her, so I'll keep her here. But now that desire for commitment may go out the door. So you've got to be mindful of that and understand the role you play. But pay very close attention to, is he trying to learn about you? And, and even if in some scenarios where it's not always about whether he asks questions, it's about you volunteering some information. But does he take an interest in actually hearing you out? You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you're trying to talk to this man about yourself and let him know how you're feeling and thinking, and he's just like ignoring it. That's a problem. That's not what happens when a guy is serious, when a guy wants to commit to you. So pay attention to that. All right, so now we're at number four. And the fourth great sign a man wants to commit to you is that he is willing to invest his time and his money. <laughs> Now, you know, let me start with money because we talked a little bit about time and I'm going to add some more to it, but let's focus on money for a second. Now, when I say he's willing to invest money, I'm not saying he's going to be your, your sugar daddy, essentially, your ATM, all right, and just hand you all the money that you want and take you shopping and on lavish trips. Not every man has those resources, okay? However, even just going on dates and spending and paying for things, it shows a, 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 it shows a seriousness about you, about his interest in you, all right? Now, I understand. I can already hear some of y'all saying there's plenty of men who spend money and they're not trying to do anything but have fun, have sex, or whatever. This is true. And this is why when you hear lists like this, you just don't take one thing. It's a combination. It Really, it should be all of these things, all right? If a man wants to commit to you, he's not just going to be the guy who gives you some time and some money, but then he doesn't want to learn more about you. Then that means he's not really serious about commitment. He's not going to, uh, I'm losing my train of thought. Forget it. Let's just get back to the point. The point is you've got to see all these things to say, okay, it's real, rather than just taking one here, one there. But getting back to investing the money, you have to understand that time and money is a very precious thing to most men. There are some men out there who, maybe because they have tons of resources, may spend their money more freely, may be less concerned about how much they spend on a day, how much they give you, all these things. That's the lifestyle they live. But that's not that typical man. The typical man does not have money to just be throwing out frivolously. So for him to do that and give you his time is showing you that he's trying to invest in building something, all right? And he will have no problem doing that within his means. <laughs> and, I, and I had to stress that because again, I think sometimes unrealistic expectations are being placed on men who, it's not that they lack the desire or willingness, they're just not in that position yet. And you've got to be able to see the difference between someone who is willing to be generous with you, willing to make sure you're good, but again, maybe he doesn't have as much to give. And I always make the argument that the man who wants to commit to you, the man who's in love with you, all these different things, if he doesn't have the money to give, he will find other ways to pour into you. He, he will not just be there and take up space and be a burden. He will find ways to be an asset in your life because he cares about you. And the man's mentality is he wants to impress the woman that he's serious about. So naturally, he's going to find ways to put a smile on your face, to look good in your eyes. He, he wants to be that man that you look at and admire and revere in that way. So there will be the time, there will be the money. And again, as we talked about earlier, there will be the time because time is big for a lot of men as well. And so I think the key though with the time is you have to pay attention to, is it only on his time? Is it only at his convenience? 
The man who wants to commit to you is going to be more flexible for you. He's going to be willing to make some adjustments for you. Of course, there are some scenarios where adjustments are not possible. He just has no options there. But when he can, he will. And he won't only he won't just make excuses when you want to see him, but then when he wants to see you, he's going to, you know, hold you to a certain standard. No, he's going to be more fair about it because he understands it, it, it's again a two-way street. So Pay, pay close attention to that, but overall, he will definitely be uh, willing to invest time and money. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here, and I'll see you there. So there's this beautiful quote I love to post, and it says, the next time love visits you, I pray that it stays. And I genuinely, truly do pray that you experience an amazing, awesome love 